Good morning, Father. Good morning, good morning, Hey, sir. Good yeah. morning. Can we start a career having 94 participants, right? Okay, we can we can start. Thank you, Father. Amala, please. Okay, sir. British Adichamatal Nedre Poradi, Swadandra in the Paradia de Avagasham Tirigi Nadi at the end day, Avesha Purna Maya, Orma Pudukarana, Oro Swadandra Dino. Rajimingam, Triverna Padaga Vano Mirthambo, Veshati de Pashi de Madartical Ella Marana, Oro Paradin, Abhimanath in the Kodumudi Litu. Surin the Samika the Samrajit in the Adibere Polum Mutumarkiche, Niche Date Tode, Alma Bella Tode Poradia, Purviga de Kadagal. Pudu Talamurake, Vinda Vinda, Madapilla, the Changurapode Brahim, Oro Paradir. Freedom in our mind, faith in our words, pride in our soul. Let's salute our nation in, our, in this Independence Day. Every Independence Day, it's a time to pray and respect for our nation. At this occasion, let's celebrate the real freedom and independence. Now, it's a time to celebrate the glory of free India and hold the pride and honor for being an Indian. Respect our principal Reverend Father Vergis Pondepale, head of the department Mr. Harikrishnan sir, all faculties and my dear colleagues. Myself, Amala from final year HMB Baj. It's our privilege to conduct first online assembly. First of all, I wishing you a wonderful Independence Day with the great possibilities. On behalf of Naipunya, especially from Department of Hotel Management, once I welcome you all to this wonderful occasion. A day without prayer is like a day without blessing. A life without prayer is like a life without power. Prayer is not a spare wheel, it's a steering. That steering directs us to the right path. Here we have a college choir team for the morning prayer along with Bible reading. Reading from the Holy Bible. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Mr. Anub and team. Have a peaceful atmosphere. A thought is a result of spontaneous act. Every thoughts are free to go anywhere. Your thoughts determine your actions and your actions determine your result. Now I welcome Mr. Nidhin Krishna for Thought of the Day. A warm good morning to one and all. Myself, Nidhin Krishna. Today's thought. Where the mind is without fear, 
and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by domestic wars where words come out from the depth of truth where trailer striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into that dreary desert sand of dead hands where the mind is led forward by the sea into over widening thoughts and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away this words are said by devendranath tagore thank you and have a nice day thank you nidin krishna for giving an inspiring thought of devendranath tagore news is a na- time to what but the real news is only you watch and what you see it's a it's a words by arun brown if you break the news definitely the news will break you now it's a time to current updates here we have our reporter mr tony savior for news reading good morning to all myself tony savior presenting today's news updates first the headlines 74th independence day prime minister modi said to host tiranga from historic red fort amit with multi layer security corona warriors to be facilitated on independence day covid 19 russia registers virus vaccine ficcci and oio launch online certification course for hospitality industry now news in details 74th independence day prime minister modi said to host tiranga from historic red fort amid with multi layer security new delhi india is celebrating its 74th independence day with the memories of martyrs gives their lives for the country the celebration won't be the same but the chain of the pandemic must be broken prime minister narendra modi once again be leading the nation in celebrating the historic day at new delhi's red fort prime minister unfold the nation's flag and address the nation corona warriors to be facilitated on independence day the radu due to the ongoing smart city projects in and around parade ground this year independence day celebration would be held at police lines in the race course area the state authorities have decided to honor the corona virus warriors during the event the flag hoisting would be done by cm trivendra singh rabat at 10 am which would be followed by his speech proper social distancing would be maintained and the area would be sanitized before the parade besides the presence of sanitizer and oxygen will also be ensured chief secretary om prakash said covid 19 russia registers virus vaccine moscow russian president vladimir putin says that Corona virus vaccine developed in the country has been registered for use and one of his daughters has already been inoculated speaking at a government meeting Tuesday Putin said that the vaccine has proven efficient during tests offering a lasting immunity from the corona virus Putin emphasized that the vaccine underwent the necessary tests he added that one of his two daughters has received a shot of the vaccine and is feeling well FICCI and OIO launch online certification course for hospitality industry new delhi oio hotels and homes said down thursday the chain has partnered with the federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry to develop and design an online training and certification course specifically for the hospitality industry oio said the course will be focused on redesigning the sanitization protocols and minimizing person to person conduct for hotels in line with the standard operating procedures announced by the ministry of tourism before winding up once again the news headlines 74th independence day prime minister modi said to host sri lanka from the historic red fort amid with multi layer security corona virus to be facilitated on independence day covid 19 russia registers virus vaccine FICCI and OIO launch online certification course for hospitality industry that's all for today's news jai hind thank you mr tony for current updates talk is a communication of conversion or discussion through a talk we can express our ideas or feelings through a spoken words 
Every speaker says that I am not a perfect messenger, but my messages are perfect. Now I call upon Mr. Alvin K K for morning talk. A warm good morning to respected principal, teachers, and my dear friends. Firstly, I like to wish you a happy and prosperous Independence Day. And today, I like to share a few words about the topic India after independence. The Independence Day marks the end of British rule in 1947 and the establishment of free and independent nation. It also marks the anniversary of the partition of the countries India and Pakistan, which occurred at midnight on August 14th and 15th, 1947, as Independence Day in Pakistan is celebrated on August 14th. British rule began in India in 1757. Following the British victory at the ba Battle of Plassey, the English East India Company began exercising control over the country. The company ruled India for 100 years. In 1857-58, in the wake of Indian Mutiny, the Indian independence movement began during the World War I. It was led by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who advocated a peaceful and non-violent end to British rule. He followed the path of Ahimsa, and after all the struggle and protest. India was declared independent by by a former prime minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru Tower Gate of Red Fort in India on August 15 1947 As we have come across 74 years of gaining independence a nation has developed a lot in all the sectors and the growth of India is unimaginable by the hard work of many great human beings India is a democratic country where people can elect their leaders it's also an important feature of indian independence the growth of india in the field of science health and research has improved a lot and can be proudly presented among various nations the indian economy has also grown a lot and is one among the various economic powers in the world which also contributed to the development of our country's infrastructure to a next level even in this pandemic situation the work of india in preventing the virus is applauded by the whole world and is adapted by various other countries too although we could say that india has gained and developed a lot after independence some areas of our countries are still suffering from independence where they don't have the freedom to express their views and suggestion they just live on the direction given to them they also lack education and proper living conditions because of this let's hope this will be changed and the country be able to utilize all the resources av available and be working for the fulfillment of the citizen here as independence earned will help us get there gain through various freedom fighters who struggled and gave their life for the country once again i like to wish a happy and prosperous independence day to all jai hind thank you thank you alvin for have an inspiring section Our national pledge was originally composed by renowned Telugu writer Mr. Venkat Subba Rao in 1964. It is composed in Telugu language and first read out in a school at Vishakhapatnam. But later it was translated in different languages. Every pledge is a way to express our loyalty and courage towards our nation. Now let's move to the special section of our assembly. Here we have a student represent Miss Maria for pledge pledge india is my country and all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i am proud of its rich and varied heritage i shall always strive to be worthy of it i shall give respect to my parents teachers and all elders and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people i pledge my devotion in their well being and prosperity alone lies my happiness Jai Hind. Thank you, Miss Maria. No one notices your tears. No one notices your sadness. No one notices your pains. But all are notices your mistakes. Every small corruptions and messages sometimes help us to reach the unimaginable position of our life. Now I welcome our pillar strength and our motivator, our principal, our and father, Vagi Spondey Balil, for address our assembly. Thank you, Amala. Uh, good morning, Hari sir. Uh, good morning, faculty members, and good morning all the students participating in this morning assembly, and especially 
uh, we are gathering in this day of 74th independence of our nation. So we are very proud and happy uh, to be a part of this great democratic nation. And we should be proud to be called ourselves as Indian or a Bharatian in front or among all other nations in the world. And we know the rich uh, culture, civilization of India, which is a model, which was of course a model for the ancient world. And we had developed languages, we have developed universities, teaching systems, medicines, laws, and everything in the arts and science uh, sections of the universe. So we are not behind any other nation. So as a part of India and as a citizen of India, the, the feeling of citizenship, patriotism should bring that we are, uh, we are proud to stand in front of all other nations and other citizens of the world. So this is my introductory thought on the Independence Day. And especially today, I'm very happy that the hotel management department has come up with this new idea of getting an assembly in this online platform. The last all academy council meeting held with our HRDs, we have suggested to conduct everything that is possible, which we used to conduct during our physical classes in the college. So Hari sir and team has made this suggestion a reality by conducting the first online assembly in this college after the lockdown or after the COVID issues we are facing today. So I especially congratulate on this effort, though we have the limitations of a Zoom meeting of the 199 participants, uh, they have uh, tried their best to uh, coordinate all the students possible to this fine morning. So I appreciate uh, the uh, action, the activities done by the assembly group, and especially the department, Hari Sir and all of the faculties and coordinators of this program. And let this be a starting point for your future programs. So I wish that you could conduct assemblies and uh, all other programs which you were able to conduct during your studies here. So the COVID situation should in back, uh, back us to do something. We should be always energetic and to go forward. Thinking of the Independence Day message, uh, what I was thinking today morning while I, sh I was sharing it with some of my other colleagues or my uh, students here in the seminary group in, our, uh, in the college, uh, we all had a feeling that we should be competent enough, we should be facing the challenges of new and modern world. Nothing is free and no one is going to give you anything without your merit. So being a part of this country, we always complain, we always criticize, saying that India is not a land to live in. Uh, I want to get away from this place. The system of India is corrupted, the politicians corrupted, the uh, law system is corrupted, etc., etc. We have so many complaints about our political leaders, religious leaders, our courts, our law system, our economy, etc. But we should never forget to find out the positive sides of our economy, the positive sides, sides of our politics. And we should be aware that we are one of the biggest democratic world in the world. Though some of the developed world in, the world, in other countries are present, they have their own inherent limitations in their system. Though they have a lot of wealth in their pockets, they are not free. The people are not free. And there are many people are not even to express their views. They are not able to um, eat what they want. They are not able to move as they, as they like. So compared to these situations prevailing in the existing 21st century, we Indians are much uh, far forward in these aspects of freedom. So we enjoy a lot of freedom. And we should enjoy this freedom with responsibility. That's my point of view. And especially when we say about freedom, uh, anything, any action to anything to do or the right to do an action is a freedom. We always complain that I don't have the freedom to use mobile phone in the campus. I don't have the freedom to 
come without a shoe in a, in the campus so these are don'ts or not to do kind of curtailing the freedom which you feel but freedom is not always uh, the license to do what you wish but in fact freedom is uh, most of the time is a license not to do certain things which are possibly could be done for example i i would say uh, there are plenty of food in my table in the for the lunch time so normally we have the freedom to eat any of these foods as much of the quantity i can eat but if i have the freedom of mind and i have the freedom the discipline which i mean the my do usage of my freedom shows that i won't eat anything extra which will harm my body my my physical activity so i have the freedom to take a decision not to eat certain food which are damaging to my health the same thing some some of the younger generation are addicted to um, addicted to alcohols some of them are addicted to drugs we have seen a lot of examples from the society so what do you mean by freedom is your freedom giving all the uh, license to use alcohol uh, drugs or any unwanted uh, behavior in the uh, in the community no never we should believe that the freedom is most of the time the license not to use some of the available facilities in the in the world that means that's a kind of self discipline mahalma ji and all other great leaders were always mentioned that freedom is uh, curtailing uh, some of the activities which will harm others so using alcohol or using drugs will harm others too so we may use our freedom but that is going to be ultimate danger to the society danger to the family danger to the economy uh, that can happen in the course of time so we should have a balanced view of freedom uh, that should be the ideal view of freedom so it is not to complain about not receiving license to do as we wish but it is a positive step forward thinking that i have all the freedom i have all the facilities but i limit myself i discipline myself so that i grow better others grow better and ultimately the society and the country benefits out of my usage of freedom so this is my thought on this independence day and especially in bible uh, bible says or any any doctrinal uh, literatures religious books would say that the ultimate freedom is truth jesus said the truth will deliver you Ma- means the truth will make you free uh, if you do a kind of uh, immoral unethical thing you are going to be a slave of this immoral or unethical behavior most of us or some of the uh, people in the in the society are slaves of their own actions and behavior so when we speak about the physical freedom that freedom is to travel to purchase a land to build a house uh, the freedom of expression etc at the same time this physical freedom is different from mental freedom some of us are not at all enjoying this mental freedom we are not free to sleep peacefully in the night why because we have committed something unethical which will always haunt will which always pains our heart and our consciousness so we should be free in our mind that's the meaning of truth will make you free so if you are a true person if you are a, a straight forward man if you speak only truth and if you behave only uh, ethical actions and if you think morally act morally your mind will be always peaceful though you may not have much money and wealth to uh, to accompany you uh, but you will be free to sleep in the night and we have seen lot of examples where people have lot of wealth they have done it through uh, we, we see that in the media now uh, they have done it through many wrong uh, way of accumulating wealth but ultimately they have this wealth whatever they have gained through unethical behavior has made them a slave now they are not able to come out of this bondage they are not peaceful in their mind they are not peaceful in their body they are not able to sleep they are ashamed everywhere so think of an action whenever you start an action whether this action is going to make you free from what you are now 
or this action is going to make you a slave of that action sometimes we do uh, some actions which is going to be a permanent uh, issue for our future life so don't get into actions or behaviors which will make you a slave of those actions slave of those thoughts the same way when if you are a slave of your thought you are going to be always a uh, unfree man or not a man with a freedom so the true behavior thinking truth will make you ultimately free and you can stand straight in any situations uh, without corruption uh, without the full consciousness saying that i have the i have the power to say that i am i am a straightforward man i am a true man and i don't fear anything that's the real freedom so if i don't fear like the ravindranath tagore's uh, famous uh, poetry was read out today the prayer was read out and so the real freedom is the power to say that i don't fear anything so i don't fear anything means i am that much straightforward and i believe in god and the truth which god has is shared through me and i spread the new, the message of truth to everyone whom i meet on every day basis so that's my uh, message on uh, physical freedom and mental freedom so let these thoughts be uh, make you benefit in your own daily action and once again i conclude i congratulate and appreciate this team uh, especially today it was conducted by uh, anchor amala anthony and uh, anu bandani and team did the prayer song bible reading by vibin sanni and nitin krishna gave the uh, thought of the day the tony savior the news uh, especially the news which i i think the uh, news on oyo on online hospitality programs are important for you even after your bsc degree uh, you can do an online course on hospitality that's an additional certification for you if they make a search and uh, inquiry of the formalities of such uh, online courses and done by inklet uh, made by maria at and uh, today we are going to have one more powerpoint presentation by allen vargi so i wish all the team members today though we had the limitations of online gathering internet issues we have come out of those limitations and done a beautiful morning assembly and as i mentioned let us do these similar kind of activities through online i will also will be available with you I wish you all the best for all your department and don't be disheartened especially the hotel management students about the situations under covid don't be much worried about your future jobs etc be now calm face the situation be safe at home we will come back we will recover everything that's a hope the new india gives us thank you once and all uh, thank you very sir and amala thank you father before winding up it's my great pleasure to render a vote of thanks to this great occasion on behalf of naipunya i extend my most sincere thank to god for make this event a resounding success with his grace we are able to make this event as a memorable one and also i express my sincere thanks to our principal uh, as we know he is not only a principal for us um, for every programs functions and all come and uh, be a part with us and make sincere corrections that uh, motivate us to do better in future and also it promote uh, us to achieve the great success and uh, now i thank our principal uh, for be a part of our assembly and uh, give an inspiring message thank you father um, now i thank our head of department mr hari krishnan sir and all faculties i can't express uh, how much we thank to our entire faculties for their willingness to conduct this occasion and uh, promote us to do this much and uh, with uh, with our deep sense of appreciation uh, we thank to all our teachers uh, for their hard work and uh, effort uh uh behind this program and uh, last but not least uh, i thank all the buds of naipunya for spend their times and uh, be a professional and well disciplined man thank you all um, now let's conclude our formal assembly with national anthem it's originally composed with a message of well wishes for the resolution passed It's a proud moment and also a time to express our emotional bond towards our nation. So I kindly request all of you please be attention uh, 
uh, wherever you have uh, thank you जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा प्राविण उत्तर बंगा हिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Hope you are all enjoy this assembly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, teachers, and thank you, students. Wish you happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you so much.